Okay, so I added the bounty board to the website last week and someone has already completed one of the challenges. Uh, so if you go to grounded.sap.co.uk and then go randomizers, challenges, bounty board, you can see the list. And the one that was completed is the first one there, which is Bison Fan Club, which was Bison in front followed by four crabs, which I thought was kind of amusing given that um, crab is such an underplayed unit. So I'm picking up my own attempt here on turn seven. Uh, now the, the winning run, I do actually have a clip of it, which I'll show at the end, but um, they were playing on mobile, so they, they didn't have the entire the entirety of the run. So uh, um, in order to eke a video out of it, I'm, I'm going to show my attempt, which, uh, which kind of has an um, amusing ending. But anyway, so get, getting Bison on turn seven, a um, bit late, but... Uh, I've already got a, a level 2 crab going, which um, I think actually downgraded its health there. And thankfully I get a freebie from this team because they killed their own squad with the hedgehog whale. Not sure what they were going for there. Um, so I'm just putting some more stats onto the bison to try and compensate for the fact that I got it a little bit later than I wanted it to, wanted to get it. Um, but obviously here with uh, with the ant, uh, our level 3, I want to get the, the main crab to level 3 as soon as possible so I can just sell the ant and start looking for more crabs. Because although crab is not very good, uh, once your bison has scaled up to a high health value, even buying a level 1 crab will can, can be quite useful because you can give it chili or... Um, or stake and it'll suddenly be able to actually kill units or at least break melon. Um, so now I've leveled up the bison which will compensate for the fact I got it a bit later and I get the giraffe applying buffs to, to both. Um, it kind of feels like you're wasting a buff on the crab because it's going to copy the health anyway actually it makes it makes no difference because it, the buff goes to the bison therefore the crab gets the buff anyway um, and there we find another crab so penguin can go because the giraffe and the ant will leech penguin buffs anyway get that crab in and get another crab on the next roll and I would quite like to get um, more than one level 2 crab to really multiply up the effect of the bison scaling. Um, and you can see there it makes such a huge difference to the back crab getting that injection of stats. I'm going to adjust enough attack there to kill their big worm. Um, yeah, so, so while this is going on in the background, maybe I should explain the bounty a bit more clearly because I wasn't, it maybe wasn't the most obvious from the previous, uh, the previous post on the um, on the channel. All you have to do is is complete the run and, and get a screen grab. Um, a video, I mean, a video of the whole run would be incredible, but um, on you know the or, or even just recording like you'll see the. Uh, the final run here, the, the person who, who completed it recorded their um, last battle because obviously if you go to replays uh, or uh, Hall of Fame you can only view the final battle um, which is kind of a shame but I can understand why they don't let you, you know, why it doesn't record the entire game uh, as a replay. So yeah, so all you have to do is take a screen cap. And then you can, um, if you join uh, Haps' Discord, you can find me in there and private message the, the screenshot and then uh, I'll, I'll include it in the next video. Um, assu assuming someone else manages to beat one of the other challenges, I don't know. I didn't think this was the easiest. I thought this was, you know, moderately difficult. And I should have mentioned that this was the first attempt I actually had at it. Uh, and then the subsequent attempts were definitely not uh, video worthy, so um, maybe it, maybe it is a lot harder than uh, than I thought it was. Um, but two people completed it, so it can't be that bad. I got the skunk in here, so because 
Um, although we are uh, scaling with level two bison, there are going to be many, many, many other teams scaling with bison. And so skunk just, you know, makes it easier for the crab to trade because it has a lower attack. Um, and here I was trying to decide, is it worth giving uh, its stake? And I think it almost, almost all circumstances, it's probably better giving it stake. Meat bone is fine in the early game, but the later you go, it's much better to have steak or uh, or chili. And here I was holding on to the cat um, in order to uh, sell the giraffe. Oh no, I'm going to get the, the uh, level 1 crab in now. And obviously it feels pretty bad buying level 1 crabs this late in the game, because they're going to get sniped by absolutely anything. And uh, miraculously they avoided getting sniped by the croc. Um, but I mean, even a mosquito will kill it. Any uh, elephant blowfish will kill it. Uh, actually, maybe elephant blowfish won't because that's not start of battle, is it? Um, yeah, I guess it won't. So here, I'm, again, I'm using the cat to only give the crab more attack, but it doesn't make any difference because it's a level three crab, so it's going to get the, fifth, the full 50 uh, HP regardless. Um, but having much bigger attack on the on my fifth on a fifty attack uh, fifty health unit is obviously very beneficial. So getting towards the end now, I'm going to replace the skunk with um, another crab because it gives me more chance of the pizza hitting one of the crabs. Um, and the bison has now been doing you know it's it's maxed out ages ago. Uh, which I guess is one of the issues with this team is that you get to a sort of plateau where the bison can't get any any stronger. And you can see here that the the high health of the the crabs actually comes in really handy and uh, gets us a draw there. And buy some more sushi, just increase the attack of those crabs and reduce the chances of them being sniped at the start of the round. Bison buffs itself again. I kind of wonder if they should change it so that um, when a pet has maxed out on scaling, uh, like bison or llama or any of these other um, pets, that it just shouldn't do the animation anymore. Um, I don't know how many people are still trying to speedrun this game, but um, you know the the pause for the pointless buff could possibly be removed. I don't know, maybe a bit of a nitpick there. So I'm um, get the chocolate frozen. I'm going to get a second level two crab, um, which will be a massive injection of uh, HP. And uh, here I go against uh, summon team, which it would be nice to have uh, chili on one of the crabs. But I think uh, I think we're going to have just enough. Or maybe not. I can't, I can't remember what happens in, in some of these uh, games. Okay, so we do have enough in that one. So now I'm on nine wins. And I have to sell the cat. But I need to find another crab first. So I'm just frantically rolling. I find a pizza. And um, I think in the event of no, uh, no crab, I'm just going to use the pizza, sell the cat, and buy the chocolate. And then hope for a loss or a draw. Um, although to be honest at this point I knew I was going to use the run for this video anyway so uh, it was kind of academic but we go against the classic um, elephant camel funneling stats to a big unit and uh, get get beaten and actually I think if I'd had a, a level 1 crab at the back with it would have had 25 health and it probably would, would have beaten that team um, I, I'm not 100% sure I didn't uh, can you tell I haven't watched this back? Um, so we get the crab now. And I'll freeze chocolate just in case I manage. It's a draw and I can get another level 2 crab. And we go against this team. Now, initially it looks like I would just get destroyed here. But after the health ripple um, from the bison to the crabs, um, it's going to finish with... It's going to look like I lost comfortably. But actually, I was a favourite to win that battle. If the mosquito doesn't snipe the melon, then I would win. 
so here's the winner and his crocs are nice and they won on turn 15 with uh, three level two crabs and one level one and they had you can see there they've got lots of steak and lots of uh, chili and they actually have a recording of the final battle which i'll show here and they get the perfect scenario which is going against um, a summon team that has weak units like uh, cricket and um, and it had a penguin at the front with their uh, honey and the high health of the crabs here just does so much work especially the ones in the back with the chili and they uh, they claim the win very impressive and someone else actually completed it and i'm not going to try and pronounce your full name but i'm just going to say well done to nico as well who has this team um, and they had three bare uh, level one crabs with no equipment on turn 12 but well done so uh since that though that bounty has been completed i'm gonna update the website with some more um that'll probably be monday or tuesday